Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolfpack Man YouTube channel and today we're going to shift gears a little bit. How many of you out there are Harry Potter fans? There's a few in the world, I believe. Today, you know, again, I collected packs, unopened packs. That was my collection and so I'd walk through fanfare. Also, I would go to Scott's and Portage sometimes. And But I'd walk through these card stores and I would basically look around and see what was new and, you know, I typically walk through the sports section and then I would walk past the movie kind of a section and over to the gaming section. I, you know, I bought a lot of pa Pokemon packs back in the day and unfortunately sold them all. <laughs> but... That's that's all right. They, you know, I, I made a little bit of money. I could have made a lot more, but I did buy these Harry Potter packs, and I never opened them. You know, what are the odds of actually finding a Hermione autograph or a Harry Potter? Or you know, who knows? So I have four chances here. So I thought, what the heck? Let's you know, a little bit different. Uh, let's open some Harry Potter packs and and see what. Wizarding magic awaits. <laughs> There's probably, for all I know, these none of these even, because I don't see anything mentioning specifically autographs, so maybe these don't even have autographs in them. Maybe the, the packs that had autographs were different than these art box. I've got, let me see, two art box, and it looks like an IC cards. Pete, and who's the manufacturer for this? The Wizards. dot com. So, oh, Wizards of the Coast. So there you go. So this is a Wizards of the Coast pack. <laughs> Whatever's in here is just gonna be fun, right? That's the whole point, right? So we have. Uh, card that says serious considerations oh shoot I have I actually have that scarf in, in my winter stuff I should I should have put it on for you guys sorry about that this one says flee you know, so obviously they're showing off a uh, fang the boar hound to the skies Christmas gift. Poor little Harry Potter. Look how young he was back then. This was from the Sorcerer's Stone and Head Table. So there you go. Harry Potter cards. Those were the kind of, you know, this pack was obviously a lot longer. So those are those long packs that everyone kind of hates. So let me see. Prisoner, uh... Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. So I have two prisoner and a goblet. So let's do let's set the goblet aside and let's do these these uh matter of fact I'll keep the art box open the art box last and let's do this. You tell me what that low it says I see cards on the back it says Warner Brothers Cards Inc. Inc. So this is from Cards Inc. It's got an address of England on the back, so oh, gee whiz. Me and my wanting to save the save the Pack covers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with these. <laughs> I just can't get a grip to uh, pull it like I can with Upper Deck and some of the other ones. Alright, fine. We have technology. Gotta make sure I don't cut a card here. 
I don't believe. All right, so cheater. There, there are cards in there. That's a good sign. Way too much work for Harry Potter cards. All right. So what do we have here? It looks like backs and backs. So let's just start here. Oh, that's a cool card. It's a uh, reflective material, like a chrome card of Hermione. Oh, F3. It's a F3 Hermione card. So I got an insert card. How about that? Sorry, let me keep it on the screen there for you. And then we've got Rescuing Buck Beak. A uh, series black and something. There's the stars right there. Leaving the something. <laughs> the choir sings. And serious black. Freeing serious black. So there you go. So hey, we got an insert card. So whatever's in this last two packs, it was kind of neat that we got our Hermione insert, Hermione Granger insert cards. So this is, again, a prisoner pack. I, should, I didn't even look to see what the year is. And I am just going to do the same thing with this one because these babies, this thing is tight. I didn't quite cut it deep enough, but that's okay because I don't want to. <laughs> getting getting the, <laughs> the outside off and not the inside. How funny is that? Tom, you need to go to pack opening 101 school. Don't don't you? Okay, this is an interesting. This card has round corners. Oh, it's a film card. So, I wonder if this whole pack is all. Oh, they all are. Oh, that's neat. I like these cards. So, there you go. Um, this is the collector set. So, there they are in the pumpkin patch again. And there they are. These are just cool cards. That's all there is to it. There's Buckbeak. And learning about Sirius Black. So there you go. Cool cards. So and then last but not least, whoops, I almost hit the scissors down on Hermione, sorry. Oh, and look at these. These just open up no problem. So, it's not me. These packs are defective. That's what I should say. Okay, so this is Goblet of Fire. And that's some kind of an insert. And the first Hogwarts champion. Last but not least, the champions. And this looks like a Barty Crouch Jr. I guess it's a regular card. It's, it's definitely different than the other ones, but so I don't know if it, I don't think it's an insert card though, but I'm going to set it aside anyway. Uh, amazing. Nope, it's definitely part. Uh, there's Harry Potter. So it's definitely part of, yeah, this is card number two, so 
And then here's the last two. Blood of the Enemy and uh, Hand of Baroons or something like that. So there you go. So there you go. Harry Potter cards from back in the 2000s, I'm guessing. Just something, something different. It was fun. <laughs> Talk to you guys lady, lady <laughs> later. Later. <laughs>